Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a one pot creamy pasta with sausage and broccoli. Heat up water to boil the pasta. Add salt. I'm using medium shells today. You can really use any type of pasta you like. Give it a stir and cook until tender. The other ingredients we need are sausage, cut up into chunks. You can use chicken, turkey, pork, beef, even a vegetarian sausage. Chopped onions and sliced garlic. This is jarred tomato sauce. It's already cooked and it's ready to mix with pasta. You can definitely substitute canned crushed tomatoes or canned tomato sauce. If you are gonna use the canned tomatoes or sauce that's not seasoned already, add a little bit of dried oregano or basil parsley, whatever herb you have. I've got some chopped flat leaf parsley. If you can't get it right now, you can leave it out or use um, dried parsley instead. To make the dish creamy, some milk, half and half or heavy cream. And red pepper flakes for a little heat. Stir the pasta occasionally. To make this a complete meal, add a vegetable. I'm using frozen broccoli. You can definitely substitute fresh broccoli, carrots, green beans, peas, really any vegetable you have on hand. The shells are cooked, that took about eight minutes. I'll go ahead and drain the pasta. The pasta is draining, now we can saute the rest of the ingredients. After you drain the pasta, put it into a bowl so it doesn't form a giant clump. We'll use the same pot to cook the rest of the ingredients. Add some olive oil, the onions and garlic, and the sausage. The sausage is already cooked, so all I have to do is heat it up and get a little bit of color on the sausage. The onions are soft and the sausage is getting golden, so now we can add the vegetables. I'm going to add the broccoli. I'm going to have to cover the pot and let the broccoli cook. The cooking time really depends on what kind of vegetables you're using. If you're using something like frozen peas, you don't have to cover it. It'll cook really quickly. It's been about four minutes. If you don't want to overcook it, otherwise it'll be mushy and not taste very good. Add the sauce. and the pasta. Add the milk, cream, half and half, whatever you're using. See the color changes from red to pink. How creamy you want it is how much milk or half and half you should add. I don't like to add too much though, otherwise you lose the uh, flavor of the tomato sauce. Taste and add salt. We'll add the chopped parsley. If you've got Parmesan cheese or Romano, grate it and add it over top. You can see how creamy this dish is. It's very satisfying and so easy to make. I hope you give this a try and let me know how you like it. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.